In this demo, we are going to examine the random failure of the phase array elements and its effect on the far field pattern. We open the workspace named phase array failed elements and in this workspace we have several folders. In folder 1 or folder 00, we have a schematic as shown here. The schematic is pretty similar to the other schematics that we have been presenting in this seminar. The first one is an antenna array followed by an array of amplifiers, array of digital attenuators, array of digital phase shifters, a combiner and a receiver. We have a very simplistic receiver here to make certain measurements, but we can also have a very detailed receiver where the incoming signal can be processed and its information can be obtained. And we can even make measurements like error vector magnitude in the case of a communication system or probability of detection in the case of a radar system. Um, or even direction of arrival in the case of an electronic warfare system. We have 64 elements of phased array here. As you can see, the size is dictated by 8 by 8. What we are going to do is, we are going to see, we are going to fail randomly the antenna elements and see how it impacts the far field pattern. We also have the ability to randomly vary the errors in the phase shifters, errors in the attenuators, and also see their effects. But specifically, we are interested in random failures of antenna elements. Go to folder number four, Monte Carlo array element failure. And in here, we have set up a Monte Carlo simulation we have a maximum number of Monte Carlo runs of 15 uh, specified by this variable. And we, to repeat the measurement again and again, we have a random seed of one to three here. You can enter any seed number here. And we have made a number of measurements on the far field that can be displayed in a table or plot them as a graph. And also we have the variable, which is the custom random element failure here and then the elements, if it is a zero value, it is failed. If it is one, it is active. For zero failure, we have a probability of 10%. That means for each Monte Carlo run, 10% of the elements will be failed randomly. Each Monte Carlo run will choose a random set of elements, which is 10% of the total number of elements. To run, right mouse click on Monte Carlo 4 and click on run. Ignore any errors that come up because as the matrix starts building up that will disappear. So as you can see, each Monte Carlo run we get a new trace and the traces, some of the traces are uh, degraded traces where you see a significant raise in the side lobe level. And you, after doing this analysis, if you want to specifically find out, okay, I have a um, array, uh, I have a side lobe that, uh, for example, side lobe number eight, um, side lobe number eight, uh, or side lobe number, in any side lobe number that you may pick up, but the side lobe that you want to pick up is the worst case scenario. Let's say side lobe number eight is the worst case scenario. If I want to examine the uh, elements in that particular uh, side lobe, so particular Monte Carlo run number eight, you can see that. For that matter, you can see any number uh, um, of the round and then the corresponding element failures you see the uh, element failure locations here and the corresponding rest of the array that is intact and then you know working. 
what we have shown here is a random element failure but you can set up your own custom element failure that means you can pick and choose which of the elements you want to fail them and then see the effect of that on the far field pattern shown here thank you very much